Previously on 30 in 30, Wildflower took over for the day, saw the sights, met some fans, found a pointy stick, and me, I hit up the museums. And after talking with Commander's fans, could not wait for their new chapter. It was supposed to be a stressless morning, a quick flight over to Pittsburgh, our new destination. I'm time. But then, everything went wrong. We're at the airport. Boarding has begun. Uh, Johnny left his phone in the car, in the Uber, uh, with his ID. And so, we might be screwed. Not filming you. <laughs> so we might be screwed. A scramble for Johnny's phone, which contained his ID and credit card, led us to miss our first flight. Yeah, so we're screwed. And after no stress whatsoever, it turns out it wasn't in the Uber and a kind person returned it to the front desk and were able to get onto the next flight and save the tour. When we made it to Pittsburgh, we met Paul, our Uber driver. Paul asked us why we were in town, we told him, and it turns out that his wife Chrissy was a longtime donator and supporter of St. Jude. So much that when he dropped us off to the hotel, he offered to drive us free of charge to the stadium. He also had his wife waiting on the line when we returned to the car. Hey, thank you guys for uh, all your hard work too, and that's uh, Paul's, he's wonderful. Hey, ah, he's a good he dude. <laughs> yeah, that's why I married him. That's it. Also a shout out to James, the front desk clerk from the hotel, who donated $20 to St. Jude on the spot. Just again, another example of incredible people that we've encountered on this trip. When we got to Acrisure Stadium, yeah, that still feels weird to say, we were greeted by Travis, who had an entire gift basket for us on behalf of the Steelers. And for the first time this trip, a team donated to St. Jude. A thousand dollars on behalf of the Steelers had me completely floored, because as I've talked about, some of these teams haven't responded, and I'm just a random creator in my basement in New York. And now NFL teams are donating to our cause. This was my first time in Pittsburgh, and getting to walk through the stadium, you could see two things were apparent. One, the history of that place. Lombardi's in the Great Hall of Acrisure Stadium. The history filled the floors, the walls, and just about everywhere you looked. And the second thing was football. This was a football stadium. After being rebuilt after the tragedy that was Bane from The Dark Knight Rises, Pittsburgh got to work, and what you see before you is an incredible place to gather and watch football. We saw the closest seats to the field yet in which players could literally reach out and touch fans. And on the tour, I started to notice other things. Things like Kenny Pickett going to Pitt, playing in a locker room as a college athlete, and then having to go a whole 15 feet to change in the Steelers locker room. say about big hands, big, big gloves. It has to be. We were also given access to their new museum, which was just built in November, which was not only filled with history, but also incredibly interactive. You could even call famous plays from Steeler history. Of course I did that. And speaking of the museum, the best part is, is that those two things are separate. If you've seen the stadium tour, if you've walked those halls many times, you can just go to the museum, which is constantly looking to expand. And every single employee that we encountered was just so excited to be there. And it really reminded me of Green Bay. It had that small town feel in which the Steelers pretty much encapsulated everything about this city. We learned about the Roonies, and one of the members of the Rooney family was even getting married that day. They didn't want anybody in the stadium, but the Roonies graciously allowed us to tour it. And just to give you a small example of how, how the Roonies give back not only to this team, players, and community, let me tell you a little story about Travis. Travis was born in Kansas City, a diehard Chiefs fan. He worked for the Chiefs and eventually came to work for the Steelers. The year that Travis came to work for Pittsburgh, the Chiefs went to the Super Bowl. Now, Chiefs, Steelers, both AFC teams, he was unsure if he was gonna be able to go. And Mr. Rooney brought him into his office and said, 
how would you like to wear red one more time? So not only did he allow Travis to go to the Super Bowl, but allowed him to go as a fan. And upon his return to the Steelers, Mr. Rooney asked him, are you a Steelers fan now? And Travis responded, you can bury me in the black and gold. After that, we headed to the fan event to meet at the Franco Harris marker. And boy, oh boy, did Pittsburgh show up. So much so that we actually had to move down the block to accommodate the amount of people that were there. The amount of enthusiasm that was there was contagious. You had creators show up like Brett Coleman and of course the one and only urinating tree. We spent hours meeting and talking with fans, signing autographs, taking pictures, and it was one of the most energetic meetups that we have had yet. What do the Pittsburgh Steelers mean to this city? They're the heart and soul of this city. They are pretty much, if they do well, the city is happy. If they do poorly, the city's sad. And it was on the walk back to the hotel that I really realized how beautiful this city was. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so... I had never been to Pittsburgh. It reminded me of Milwaukee, a city that is truly one of my favorites in the world. And almost immediately when I got there, maybe it was the hundreds of bridges, maybe it was the rivers, maybe it was just the people, but Pittsburgh was a place that I knew I wanted to come back here. We had a small fan event later supporting local venues, there was a concert, and it just seemed like the city was bustling. It had that mix of blue collar workers with a history of steel mills. And honestly, it completely blew away my expectations of the city. And now it was a city that not only was on the rise, but they completely revamped themselves over the past few decades. Tree said to me, there's a reason why people never leave here. And if they do, they usually come back. And for me, I know that I'll be back. A reminder that there are two ways to donate to St. Jude, either on every video through the donate button on YouTube or in the link in the description. Both go to the same place. I appreciate you all. Cincinnati Bengals, I love you.